You ever steal anything on your way out the door? The way out the door of your job, like you're not coming back to your job. Either you quit or you got fired and you're like, you know what? They don't I need, need this. Yeah, I need this and they don't. Uh-huh. <laughs> they got more. They got more. Deuces. You know, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think if, because, you know, I mean, we've seen a lot of people come in to DJX and leave DJX, you know, over the years, Kelly, you and I. A lot. And yes. I, I'm trying to think, I, I think everybody pretty much just left. Like, I don't or think. Or were escorted out of the building. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was going to say, I don't think anybody, like, stole anything specific from the radio station. I do remember, uh, I do remember a story of a, uh, a former employee of ours who said that, uh, when, they were moving buildings um, or no, 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 no. What one of what, when one of the uh, radio stations flipped formats and, you know, the staff got let go. Right. Uh huh. Several of those staff members took like recording equipment, like reel to reel machines and things uh-huh. like that. And I, I mean, I didn't know of it at the time because I think I think it happened uh, like right when I got here. So I like I'd only been at DJX maybe a couple months and and then and that happened. So I was like not really privy to any of that stuff. But but he told me later, he was like, yeah, yeah, they made off with a bunch of stuff. So, well, that also like, happened at one of my former employers. So a long time ago and, and this is going to date me, but maybe there are some people out there that remember that I worked at one oh. Four, one, what is it, 104.3? Rolling with the new flavor. Yep. I worked in hip-hop radio Yeah. for, again, another year until a company bought it. And then, so we had a radio, the radio station was in Jeffersonville mm-hmm. in this, this older building. And it had, like, wood paneling on the walls. But they had, like, they made kind of a lounge for rappers to come hang out in with neon signs and a wet bar back there and all Mm -hmm. the things. And well, when that radio station got purchased and they were kind of moving out of that building, yeah, things were taken. Neon signs were taken. Not really sure what happened to the wet bar. But yeah, things people helped themselves to equipment and all the things. Uh, so what did you take on the way out? Natalie said, not my story, but my friend a couple years ago, uh, she texted in, did an internship. She really thought she was going to get the position at the job when she found out that they went with someone else. She decided to take the toner out of all the printers on the floor oh. on her way out. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I can only imagine the chaos of trying to find toner only to find out it's not only one printer, but all printers. Oh, No toner. Wow. Bold move. Yeah. Another person, uh, someone who worked at a kitchen company, took two Japanese knives. Ooh, those sound expensive. Okay. Um, an, another uh, message, took an overhead projector for their theater room. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, they had to notice that. Uh, someone said they worked at a museum, and before they left, they printed themselves an annual p- pass with an extended expiration, entitling them to free entry and 25% off at the <laughs> gift shop. <laughs> you know what? I may not work here, but I'm going to continue to earn the benefits. But it's really nice, like, showing up here and attending... Oh gosh! Uh, someone else said they. Someone said they took some tools. Someone else took a calculator. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, All yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Um, that's kind of funny. Uh, somebody who worked at a coffee shop said they took that heavy metal chalkboard that they had to write quotes on. Oh yeah, like the little like sandwich boards or whatever. How the... in the world did they get away with that? Yeah, I don't know. It must have been after hours. <laughs> it must have been after hours. And then aren't there cameras? Don't I mean, most any... businesses have cameras that anymore. They would see it's that? it's going to be hard to do something like that. Other uh, another person was like, you got to actually take a little every single week. Like, if you know you're going to quit, you just oh, have to wow. take a little bit every week. I feel like what? by saying that, we're encouraging it. <laughs> and let's put a disclaimer. We're not encouraging that. Oh, my that. gosh. All right. Anyways, hey, good stories.